Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Today I want to introduce you to the Casa Brews 4700 Gents Espresso Coffee Machine. Now this machine was created with Americanos and Espressos in mind, but you can still use it to make other drinks such as lattes and cappuccinos due to the additional features that it includes such as an individual steam wand, a steamed mechanism, and then there's also an individual dispenser for hot water. So you can also use it to make things like tea or perhaps hot chocolate. Winter is coming up really soon. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to produce those drinks. Going to go over everything for you here today. And if you decide that you want to pick up this machine for yourself, check out the link in the description. It'll take you to Amazon where you can purchase it. Right now, you can get it at a special discount for $179.99. Now let's take a look at some of the accessories that come with this machine. They give you everything that you need to get started and a little bit more, including the all important and all metal tamper. You're going to need this tamper in order to squish down the coffee grounds into one of the two included filters. You get a filter for single shots of espresso, and then you get a larger filter for double shots of espresso. Now moving around to the center of the machine, we have the all important filter holder here. And with the filter holder, you just simply pop in the filter of your choice into it. And then the rest goes right into the machine. Over on the left side, you get this metal milk jug right here. You're going to pour your milk, preferably whole milk into this jug, and you're going to use this in order to steam the milk to get it nice and frothy for some of your drinks. So this is included. And it also has measuring indicators on the inside. It goes all the way up to 380 milliliters. And you also get your coffee ground spoon with the tamper on the bottom. So sort of like getting two tampers. And then you're getting this nice thick mat here. And what you can do is just slide this on the edge of your table, sort of like that. And then when you need to go tamper your coffee grounds, you have a nice solid surface that's nice and flat so that you can do that to make things more efficient and more accurate for you. And then on the back of the machine, you have the water container that has a maximum fill line as well as a minimum fill line. So you'll always know how much water you have left in here. And then you have the top that just opens up like that. You can easily pour your water in, close it up, and then it also easily slides right down into the back of the machine. No fuss. It's just super easy. And then on the right side also is where the power button is and it sticks out. So it's very easy to press. It's not recessed into the machine and you just give it a nice little flick and all the lights start coming on. Now, the other thing about this machine is when you're preparing it, you can warm up your coffee cup. So for example, if I wanted to use this for my cup, which I will, I can just simply put it down right on top of the machine. And as it warms up, it's going to take the chill off of this glass. And then they also included this metal barrier right here. So this is not a handle to pick up and carry it. This is something to keep your glasses from falling off the machine and shattering. So it keeps it from falling. I think that that is a very very nice addition. All right, so as the machine warms up, let's take a look at some of these buttons in the front and I'll tell you exactly how to use the machine and I am going to make myself an Americano. So now that the machine is on and it's warming up, you see that we have four nicely illuminated buttons and they all serve different purposes depending on how many times you press the button. But don't worry, it's not complicated. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Now, the first option here is for hot water and Americano. You press this button one time and it's going to dispense hot water from this nozzle right here. So this is good for your tea or your hot chocolate or whatever you need hot water for. You press it twice, it's going to brew an Americano. And for that, for that, you have to make sure that you have your double shot of espresso filter installed and placed in the machine. It is going to dispense about 120 20 milliliters of water into your cup and then is going to brew the double shot of espresso. 
This button right here that says single and double is specifically for espressos. You press it once for a single, press it twice for a double. Also with the single and double button, if you hold it for five seconds, you can customize the amount of espresso that you get. Now over here, you see this is the indicator for hot and regular. So if I press this button, see that it is now green. Green means hot. It is going to dispense the hottest water that it's capable of. If I press it again, it's going to go white. And that's for the normal temperature of your drink that you're going to be making. And then lastly, over here, we have the steam button, which you are going to press when you want to generate steam for frothing the milk. And then on the left side of the machine is the knob for controlling your steam function. And you're just gonna turn this to the steam function right there. And then that's gonna help produce steam. And it's also going to dispense hot water from this spout right here for when you need to clean the machine. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to clean it when you first get it. So now let me show you how the cleaning process works. Now, when you get it and you take everything out of the box, you're gonna wash all of the accessories with warm water and mild dish soap. But when it comes to cleaning out the pipes, if you will, on the inside of the machine, it's also very easy. So first, we're gonna use this steam wand here and grab yourself a cup or a glass or a bowl or whatever it is that you might have handy. And we're gonna stick that right underneath the wand gonna come over to the left side of the machine and we are gonna turn this steam wand as far as it's gonna go. And you can see that it's now dispensing hot water into the glass and you're gonna let that go for about 10 seconds or so. And then once it's done doing that, you simply turn it off, take this water and dispose of it and this is hot so be careful now the second thing you're going to want to do is sort of pretend like you're going to make an espresso but you're not actually going to make one so you take the filter holder and you pop a filter in there and you angle it towards the left and once it's inserted in the machine just sort of hold on to it and give it a nice twist is going to lock into place grab that cup of yours slide it right underneath these two spouts here and just pretend like you're going to make an espresso. So I'm just going to hit single and that is going to clean this part of the machine. And now once that's done, you just take this water, you toss it down the drain and then you are good to go and you are ready to officially make your very first cup. So let's try making an Americano. So I got myself some coffee grounds here and I got the double filter inside of the filter holder. And now I'm just gonna add some coffee grounds to this up to the maximum fill line. And I also have that thick mat that I showed earlier. It's right here. So I'm just gonna put this filter holder right there and I'm gonna take my tamper, give it a little bit of pressure, not too much pressure though, and give it a little bit of a twist. And that is going to ensure that those coffee grounds are nice and tampered down and I am still underneath the maximum fill line. So now I'm gonna take my filter holder and I'm gonna put it right under there, give it a twist to secure it into place, perfect. And then I also have my glass right here and I'm just gonna slide that underneath. And then the hot water wand, I'm just gonna bring it right there towards the center of the glass. I'm gonna do an Americano, so that requires a double tap. So here we go. It's dispensing the water first and then when that's done, it's gonna do the double shot of espresso. All right, all done. But if you're curious about what an Americano is, it's essentially just a watered down espresso. So this is all done. Just gonna slide this under. And this is about as much as you can expect to get from the Americano setting. You can see it's nice and hot, but how hot is it? Let's check the temperature of this and it is coming in at 136 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is, uh, it is plenty hot. Uh, of course, you can add whatever it is that you want to it to enhance the flavor, but just right straight from the machine. 
There are absolutely no coffee grounds inside of this drink. And now you're free to do whatever it is that you want with it in order to make it taste perfect for you. But now what if I wanted to add some froth milk to this? Well, that's what this pitcher is for. So I'm gonna put some whole milk in here and I'm gonna show you how you can use the steam function. Before I grab the milk, what you have to do is just come right over here, hit the steam button, and it's gonna to start to heat itself up. So this button is solid white, it is ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this wand here and I wanna make sure that it's over this reservoir, which by the way, this reservoir does slide in and out and the top does come off for when you need to clean it. So that's where all your excess spillage spills go. All right, so now I'm going to slightly turn this on to purge any condensation that might be in there. All right, now I'm just gonna turn it right back off. It is ready to go. So I'm gonna take this milk pitcher here, hold my hand underneath it, and I'm gonna take this steam wand and I'm going to put it slightly underneath the surface on the edge of the pitcher. And I'm gonna turn this on full blast. It's going to froth this milk for about three minutes and then it'll turn itself off. But if you want to turn it off before the three minutes, you definitely can. And one way to know whether or not you are uh, done frothing the milk is as you're holding the bottom of this pitcher here, it's going to get warmer and warmer and warmer. And when you can no longer hold the bottom of this pitcher because it's just gotten too hot for you, that's how you know it's time to turn it off. So I'm definitely getting there. I'm there. So I'm just going to turn that off. And at this point, it's also a very good idea to get yourself a cloth or in this case, a damp paper towel to just wipe off the milk from the wand and then purge any milk that might be inside of here. So I'm just gonna turn this on again. And that's gonna get rid of any of the excess milk. And now you can take your milk and just pour it right on the inside. And then if you know how to do any art, you can take the foam on top and make a nice little pattern or something like that. Now I'm gonna try out the temperature adjustment setting. So you see that we've got two here, hot and regular. By default, it's gonna be on regular and that's why the light is solid white, but if it was on hot, it would turn to green. And I wanna try this because sometimes people want a hotter cup of coffee than the next person. So I'm gonna brew two shots of a double espresso and I'm going to use my temperature gun to see what the temperature is. So I already have the filter loaded up. So let's go ahead and do a double shot. All right, so for the regular temperature setting, you see that I am currently at about 130 eight degrees Fahrenheit, give or take. That is the regular setting. Now let's reset and try out the hot setting. So I've got the machine set on the hot setting as indicated by the green LED. And as it pours this double shot of espresso, I'm gonna grab it off of the machine as well as grab the heat gun to see exactly what the temperature is when it's nice and fresh. You see the highest that I got was about 162 degrees before it starts cooling off. But on average, I would say the temperature is about 158 to 160. So you see how simple that was? That's all it takes to make yourself an Americano, a latte, a cappuccino, an espresso, whatever your heart's desire, right here inside of your kitchen with the Casa Brews 4700 gents. And here's my concoction here. You know, I'm just always amazed how something as simple as frothed milk can make coffee taste so much better. I haven't put anything else in here and this is good. I really do enjoy that. 
but you can have something like that as well in the comfort of your own home with this the casa brews 4700 gents now once again if you want to pick up this machine check out the link in the description to take you to amazon you can get it for 179.99 right now it is on sale it is new and this is a machine that is very compact as well it doesn't take up a whole lot of space so if you don't have a lot of countertop space this will be able to occupy that small space without putting you out of your kitchen so that's it everybody i want to thank you all so much for watching and until next time i'm jeremy take care of yourselves and i'll speak to you soon